Hi everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy at CloseThatExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you whether retail arbitrage works. The concept of retail arbitrage is to buy a product in one market at a lower price and sell the same product at another market at a higher price. The idea of arbitrage is finding the price differences in different markets to make money. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you went to a flea market in New Jersey and you found a beautiful pair of Calvin Klein shoes that were being sold at that flea market for $30. And at the flea market that you regularly sell at, let's say the flea market, flea market in Queens, those same Calvin Klein shoes are being sold for $50. So that difference in price is your profit. Now, most people that do retail arbitrage, they do it online. They'll go to clearance sales, they'll go to Target, they'll go to Walmart, when Toys R Us went out of business, there was a lot of retail arbitrage that took place there. They'll go ahead, they'll buy products at clearance on sale, and then they'll sell them online for more money. They usually sell them on eBay or on Amazon. The challenge is that eBay, on one hand, is flooded with merchandise. And when it comes to eBay sales, it could be harder to have an item seen because there's so many different listings. The benefit of Amazon is that there is one listing for that one product, but the challenge is there could be many sellers listing that product. Some people have it at a lower price, and some people will be having it being sold through Prime, it'll be fulfilled by Amazon, and even though if they have a higher price, they might be able to sell more of it because it's being shipped by Prime. The trade-off is that then you have to pay more fees to Amazon for storing and processing your order. Another challenge with Amazon, of course, is that they have different rules. What you can sell, you have to have invoices for what you can sell, so you might not be able to go to a Target and buy a product on clearance, because Amazon might require you to have an invoice from the manufacturer or the licensed distributor. Now, it doesn't mean that, that even though there are these hurdles, it doesn't mean that it's not a good opportunity. On the other hand, just because you hear a lot of people making money from it, it might not mean that it might work for you. You really have to know your, your first of all, the products that you have access to, and you have to really know the sales channel they're going to be selling to. Now, while most people do retail arbitrage through Amazon and eBay, what I would recommend is to develop your own sales channel, meaning have your own store or brick and mortar store where you sell merchandise. You could go look for merchandise on clearance, buy that merchandise, bring it to your store or even to your warehouse if you have a wholesale business and sell those products. It usually works better to a retail level because if you're buying them you know, at a store, you're not gonna be able to buy them low enough to sell them on a wholesale basis, that's my opinion. It's possible if you get an extremely, you know, good clearance deal, you might be able to. But generally, you'll buy an item, you know, at a very low retail price, and you can sell at a slightly higher retail price at your store, or if you have a warehouse like a discount club, you might be able to sell that way also. I would also recommend, or I would suggest, you have to look into to see if it works for you, is to start your own website and sell those products through your own website. This way, you're somewhat, um, you're somewhat controlling the game, right? Because when you sell through Amazon. You have to have, you know, you have to buy by the rules, whether you need a certain type of invoice or you have to, you know, certain products you have to get permission to sell or not. But as long as the product is authentic and you can legally sell it, then you could create your own website and sell them directly through your website. The challenge, of course, is going to be getting traffic to your website. So can retail arbitrage work? I think it can work. I think there's a lot of potential. But you have to, first of all, make sure you're actually getting the products at a very low price. And you also have to have sales channels through you can sell the products. I think it would be safe to say that the more sales channels you have, the more potential retail arbitrage has. So perhaps put it on Amazon, list it on eBay, have it on your own website, sell it through your own store, go to a flea market, have garage sales, right? The more opportunities you have to sell merchandise, the more of an opportunity you're gonna to have to actually sell those items that you're buying. Now, how do you know that you're getting a really good deal? Because just because something's on sale, it doesn't mean that number one, it's a good deal because they could have had an original price which was much higher than everyone else was charging. And number two, even if it's on sale, but even if you get it at a very low price, if people don't want that product, or there's no demand for that product at a higher price, you're not gonna be able to sell it at a profit. To say in a positive way, in order to make money, you have to buy products where there's the demand for those products and you can resell them at a higher profit. So first of all, there's many apps that you can use where you can check to see what the resale value of that product is 
There are apps that tell you how much you could sell for on Amazon after all their fees are taken into account. And you could also do a Google search and see how much are those products being sold for. And you could also go on Amazon and look at the sales rank of a product. Now, even if you're not selling on Amazon, even if you're selling throughout your own store, you know, through your own store, through a flea market, through your own website, I still think it makes sense to see how much the product is being sold on Amazon for because people can shop on Amazon. You also wanna look at the sales rank of a product because if it has a high sales rank, then you know, meaning a low number, I mean, let's say, imagine you get a product with a sales rank of number one, that's the top selling product, you know, 10,000, 100,000 and so on. So when you see a product with a very good sales rank, you know that there's a demand for that product. And that demand hopefully should carry over also into the online and offline world. All right, my website is closeatexplosion.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. My number is 917-913-6093. You're welcome to visit my wholesale business the next time you're here. And I should also mention, you could also do retail arbitrage by simply buying products at a wholesale level and selling them at a retail level. All right, thank you so much. Have an amazing day. My business is located in Brooklyn, New York.